Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General Civil War. This is episode 18 of our Union campaign, and we are on to the Battle of Antietam. And this is a, a very special battle. It is the bloodiest day in American history. And while it might not be the bloodiest battle in American history, by far in a single day, um, the most casualties. Over 22,000 soldiers were casualties in this battle, and I believe the Union had about 87,000 soldiers and the Confederates somewhere in the mid-40s. Um, it was technically a draw, but it's sort of seen as a Union tactical victory as they did push the Confederates out of Sharpsburg. Moving forward though, we can take five brigades to this battle but as you can see here we only have three now last episode i said i would work on a fourth i also said always save your game in the army camp screen before you start making changes that way you get to the end and you go this isn't working my army looks terrible i'm not happy with it just start over and that's something that i did here i decided not to go for army organization eight and i think i put another point into medicine so we're at medicine eight now so 16 percent of our casualties are restored after the battle which is really really good for these elite units the reason i went with three core is because when i built four core out i was actually running out of weapons to equip my troops the army wasn't looking very good it was scaling the battle to really high proportions and the enemy is basically getting two and three star soldiers in that scaling and i'm adding zero star soldiers so i figured it's probably best to maybe have a more elite more well equipped army and this is something that i really like the look of so first core they're going to take the brunt of the fighting they're they are going to be first into the battle they are going to really be pushing dunker church they'll probably take the most casualties at least early on and they'll probably fight for the entire battle which is going to be pretty rough so first core is a nice mishmash of some more green units along with some more mid-tier units meaning one star units with good weapons that are closer to two stars and then seven of our two star units that are very very well armed as a note there are only four brigades i can't remember who they there we go four brigades in our entire army that have springfield 1842s one with lorenzes everybody else has springfield 1855s enfield 53s or Harper's Ferry 55. So we are a well-equipped army and we also have very good artillery. First Brigade, I, um, I really want them up front and center so we have a lot of weapons that can deal short to medium range damage really really well and that comes in the form of three 24 pounder artillery regiments and then one of these new 14 pounder Jameses, which are pretty awesome weapons. Um, they have a little bit better accuracy than 24 pounders. Maybe not as punchy at super short range, but still very, very powerful. Second core is almost identical. It has one less two star unit and it doesn't have the super green units like first core. But it does have three artillery regiments, a 24 pounder, and two of these 10 pounder ordinances. I really like these weapons. I feel like they're sort of the mid mid range gods of the Civil War. Uh, I, I really like, I think it's called the Shot Round, the one that uh, sort of does the explosion. I, I really like how much damage they do there. And then one unit of skirmishers called the Silver Snipers. I need to learn how to use these guys. I'm so afraid of them taking unneeded casualties that I end up really not using them correctly. Um, I just need to find a nice firing position for them and have them sit there and take pot shots the entire battle. 
Third core is sort of a mishmash of everything. In third core, they come on early, but only half of them, I believe. And I'm really not good with cavalry. And in this battle where they come on, it's kind of weird. So what I'm going to do is just have the four infantry and the two 20 pounders come on first. Uh, you, you get six brigades coming on right away. So it's just these six. And then later I'll have all of these sharpshooters and melee and shooting cav or dragoons come onto the battle later. And hopefully they can harass, pick off supply, pick off artillery, maybe some weakened confederate or infantry brigades, things like that. But there's no point really in having these guys come on early, at least how I play, because we're we're going to be attacking into woods fortified positions all of that jazz so these guys will probably hold a bridge and be a distraction force and hopefully they can actually hold out it would be it would be nice if they can hold out so that is the force that i am taking uh, if you go onto the battles map um we have three debuffs to the enemy that totals 10% army size, at least I think it's cumulative and not um, compound. And it says the enemy has 74 to 79k, they won't bring that much. Their training is really high, really high, That which is unfortunate. So we'll be facing like nothing but two and three star brigades most likely. And then their armory is mid-tier, so hopefully that means good captured weapons. Lots of money, lots of troops, and lots of reputation when we win this battle. So, first core is attacking the left, second core the center, and third core the right, although they won't necessarily attack the right. What I'll probably do is hold them at this bridge here, and then the cavalry comes on down here, and I might peek around and send the cavalry around and see what I can do. The other thing is the cavalry might end up taking Sharpsburg because this over here takes so long to capture. Um, and if you notice we have about a thousand more men than the confederates so not the quite the historical 87,000 but the battle scales um, basically you never have a major major advantage in this battle because of ai scaling now the battle of antietam 17th of september 1862 general robert e lee entered the state of maryland on september 3rd 1862 his intention is to take the war into union territory we cannot allow that we move to intercept lee and he prepares to meet our army near the town of sharpsburg creating a solid defense behind antietam here we are on the battle map. The Confederates have chosen to face our army near the town of Sharpsburg. And then way far south, the nearest bridge to the town will probably be very well defended. Act with caution. Most likely the Confederates have their right flank anchored here, which is very far away from the battlefield. Well, this whole thing is the battlefield, but you'll see what I mean. And then way up here, way, way up here. We can cross the Antietam Creek using several other passages, but there is danger of a Confederate ambush or an artillery bombardment from the nearby hills. And then, as you can see, this map is huge. Absolutely massive. The safest route to the town and the Confederate defensive lines is from the north. From here, we can launch our first assault in safety. Safety is a weird word to use. The rebels have possibly hidden forces behind this hill, so we may need to secure it first, which will happen. I don't want the Confederates up on that hill, and a hill's always a good, um, they usually have observation points. Confederate infantry has been detected hiding in these woods. That's Dunker Church. The Confederate lines probably stretch through these woods to the east. The area around the church com commands their left flank and center. This will be the heaviest fighting most likely um there's I, I believe these fences here are fortified positions fortified positions here on the sunken road 
Reconnaissance found that the Confederate center holds the sunken road and is heavily defended with several artillery batteries. So this will also be really difficult to take. But if we can take Dunker Church, e um, not easily, but quickly, we can wrap around and hopefully hit them hard. And then the town of Sharpsburg, whoa, way south. This is a big map. The town is covered all the way to the west by the Potomac River. If we manage to block this road, the Confederates will be cut off from their reinforcements and we'll have a chance to surround and completely destroy them. I, uh, I'm not sure we're making it that far. Maybe our cab can get down there, but the cab's not holding a road. That's for sure. Way back up north. Our divisions are preparing to attack at dawn. Brace yourself, General. It is going to be a hard fight. The first attack wave will advance south. These woods are defended by Confederate infantry. Their numbers are unknown, probably tons of them. It'll be a good idea to secure this hill, which can become a dangerous artillery platform for the Confederates. Agreed. I do want to take that hill and then push into the woods. Our main goal is to capture the Dunker Church area, which will allow our forces to further advance toward the town and the Confederate center. And then the rebel positions are going to be reinforced continuously from the south, so we need to act fast and gain the momentum. So skirmishers out on this flank, eventually taking this tree line and uh, seeing if we can push them out of these fortified positions. General, if you meet stiff resistance, you are advised to establish a strong defensive position and wait for the rest of our forces, which will arrive in about two hours. Let's start the battle. Let's grab some skirmishers and send them out. So where's the skirmishers over here? Have you all send out and then um, let's grab you all and do something like that and then grab you all and do something like that. Now, I did learn recently that artillery is affected by cover. Um, that it's not as effective in cover. I think your regular units are affected by cover too, but since they're the ones that are taking the hits, not as important. Ooh. Okay, so there's a lot to see here. Three Star Louisiana Tigers. Those are historically a Zouave unit, and they were very elite. And then Three Star Stark. But two Three Star Dragoon units of over a thousand men. That's pretty. That's pretty intimidating. Be honest. I don't know what I just did there. Click the wrong button is the correct answer. Let's have you guys move up. Okay. Let's have those skirmishers go there. Those skirmishers go there because now our infantry is moving up. Stonewall Brigade, another elite unit of the time. Uh, let's have you all go out over here. More of our units can now advance. So perfect. A little afraid of that cavalry. Is that the rest of second division? Yes. Okay. This is interesting. They're moving forward. Can we get a volley off on them? And then can we get a volley off on you guys? Alright, so I think uh, the rest of 2nd Division move up over here. And then Quicksilver. Oh, I uh, I never deployed those guys. 
That was silly of me. I think they're a little too far out. Alright, so third division. Oh, uh, no artillery. Oh well. Alright, looks like their cavalry is retreating off of this hill, so I think we can push down the hill. Um, I probably need somebody to stay on the hill. Might be... Uh, I don't know. Can you all sort of sit like that for the moment while Screaming Eagles and Fighting First move into position? Union secured Nicodemus Hill. That's a cool name. Yeah, let's push into this tree line. Uh, I do want the eyesight of the hill. might be boys and blue skirmishers in the future. Okay, so third division, you'll move like that. First and only skirmishers probably reattach. You're probably no longer needed once they move in. And probably need you somewhere like that. Heard the sounds of people charging. Unfortunately, it seems like it's really difficult to uh, hear a lot of this. Or not hear. See a lot of this. Okay, caught Stonewall Brigade out in the open. Which is pretty good. Stark is charging also pretty good. Our reinforcements look like they are arriving just in time. Hold this flank over here. We are taking more casualties than I would like over here, but we should have our reinforcements coming soon. And I think that means that they can move out, and they can move in. And now, 3rd Division, I think you all could move more like so. I don't... there we go. I was about to drag the nuts. You guys know how I feel about the, uh, the crisscrossing of units. Alright, you two now can take up a little bit better of a position. Ah, oh, man, that would be so awesome to take those supplies. Okay, so there is artillery out there. I don't want my skirmishers too far away from everything. Because... There's some very large cavalry units out there. Okay. Can these 24 pounders move up a tad? I think Quicksilver maybe go over here. I wonder if these 24 pounders could go in the open over there. Sounds like another charge somewhere. I just don't know. Can you take up that position? you guys do anything and if you all why would you shoot the target in the so what do we have Louisiana Tigers uh maybe maybe fall back 
and shoot a volley and then fall. Ooh, there's more artillery in Dunker Church. Okay. Alright, let's not have you guys too far out. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Nope. Just have you guys there. And maybe we need third division to curl round no why 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 and then maybe move up like so there we go that got their attention a little I'd like them to charge again um ooh, okay that's interesting to see. Texas Brigade. So that's, uh, yeah, Hood's division. I was gonna say, Hood was a Texan boy. Hood was severely wounded at the Battle of Gettysburg. If you watch the movie, he's the one that vehemently opposes attacking Little Round Top, or Devil's Den, I should say. Not necessarily Little Round Top itself, but, um, he, he was, he approved of Longstreet's initial idea of going further right around. I'm not like a crazy good historian, but I do know I know a thing or two. And that's not farmer's insurance a thing or two. For those Americans that gosh, that deal with commercials. Gosh, that's ugh, I'll try not to swear. That stuff drives me nuts. Not the farmer's commercials, the crisscrossing. <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't know why, but that that makes me laugh. Uh, Texas Brigade, okay. Uh, would love to get my guys in a better position here, but... I don't know. Might not happen. Alright, 24 pounders, move up. Quicksilver, you're probably needed over here. Force, just uh, start doing your thing. Louisiana Tigers, taking damage. Let's have. No, 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 no. Keep pressing the wrong button. I wanna. I want to shift click these units. But shift is rotate, and I keep, uh, y you have to control click them. Wonder, can I get a sneaky hit on them? Okay, here comes the Texas Brigade. We do have multiple units nearby, but that might not work. We do have that. Again. Why'd it have to be all Americans that they are attacking? You know what? If Texas Brigade is there, I bet we can hit this artillery. Oh no. No, we can't. Uh, all Americans, you guys are going to struggle. Brigadier Randall Evans is wounded. That's probably all Americans. That's not good at all. Need these 24 pounders over here, actually. Oh, that is so much artillery. Attack Sunken Road. <sighs> the first wave revealed that the Confederate intentions to hold their line and defend the town. Now we can send the rest of our forces down the valley. Dunker Church must be held to clear the left flank of the Confederates. And then this Sunken Road is an important position. The rebels will probably defend it with strong forces. We should advance and push them away. We have forces waiting on this side of the river. We can use them to harass the Confederate right flank. Link. I'll probably push them 
just in that tree line. According to our reconnaissance, the rebels have more forces available. Act with caution. We don't know if they're held in reserve or still in route from Harper's Ferry. General, act with caution. And let's take it off pause because pause is probably really boring to you guys. Fresh units available to attack their left. Hopefully that second core. Oh, devil dogs. Whew, that was a bad move on my part. Really bad. Okay. Third division. Minus the... Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's the artillery. Um, but I would like the artillery right here. And... Fourth division. You will... Take position over here, except your artillery piece, also in the center. Lucky lads have taken a beating. The blue devils need you moving up. Greyhounds, I don't... I'm not in love with your position. Oh my goodness. Not, not going well. What do I have? Okay, that's... That's going to be how it is over there. And... I think... Ooh, come on. Just move to the closest position. You don't need to do all this bizarre... crossing of the stream. And why why is it always the two-star units that have to take the, the biggest beating? I try to intermingle them in so it's not obvious who to hit. Are you guys done moving? Okay, 24 pounders need to be up close and personal. And then where's the James? Let's put the, the James over here. Okay, there's second core is starting to arrive. So we had them uh, position over here. Actually, fourth division minus the artillery. I would probably like you all to move over here. And then second corps, first division there. Second division there. And McClellan, you'll be over there. And uh, your baggage train over here. Something like that. Horse. Need you to run the line. You guys have taken a beating over here. It looks like you've pushed them back a little. Looks like we are starting to envelop them. Need you there. Need the 24 pounders up. And you all move forward. Louisiana Tigers retreated over here. Perfect. I don't really care about Louisiana Tigers, though. They're so small at this point. Okay, I think I would like... Second core to protect my flank before I... Do any more positioning. So, uh, like, so is probably 
the way Hampton's cavalry still proving to be a thorn in my side. Okay, can you all... There are no words for how frustrating it is that a unit over here wants to move over here. I need to stop complaining about that. It's not going to change. Alright, so who's this 4th Division? Minus Artillery. 4th Division, if I could have you over here. And then you oh god it's so frustrating because now they're routing because they had to move across the line holy crap jersey blues you guys are just getting decimated it's because there's nobody to support you because the guy that was supporting you left his position on the line okay we absolutely need to push forward no who do i have stop 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 do not cross in the middle of combat. I really don't know what to do at this point about men moving into bizarre spots. Jersey Blues are just getting slaughtered. This is really disgusting in here, to be honest. Are they pushing this? No. If we can move this artillery up. We got no crossing the streams. Stay in line! Uh, Jersey Blues, you're taking so much damage. What is this? Is this... Okay. Have you guys move up. And then 4th Division, your reserve. All of you, all of you, okay, perfect. It's like they're retreating to that spot. Oh, I have to get Jersey Blue out of there, but I don't know if it'll happen yet. Second division, you all move up. Third division, uh, you're gonna be a little weird. Third division, but you'll roll this flank. These guys are holding this perfectly fine. Silver snipers, I don't know if you can do anything over here. Um, Lawman, Lumen, Lawman. Okay. 
Thank God, Jersey Blues can. Let's let's put Jersey Blues on that hill. Hmm. Okay. What can we do here? So first division minus Jersey Blues. Wish it told me who. Okay. Have you all move over here? Have you guys move up like so? And then. Why? Okay, whatever. I know better than to ask questions at this point. Okay. So what is going on over here? Devil dogs are holding up. Well, we need to take out all of this artillery. Uh, also worry about Hamden. Oh my goodness. That is so much artillery. What do you mean blocked? Move up. I can't believe we haven't lost a gun there. We've lost 21 men. Old Glory's already taking a beating. Okay, who are you? Second division? Move up. Lieutenant Colonel. Charlie Perry is wounded. Move up. And you move up. 24 pounder. 10 pounder, you're fine. General Longstreet spotted supervising the rebel defense at Sunken Road. That's fine. Looks like, oh, there's Armistead. That's Longstreet's. You guys move in. You guys move in. You guys. No. How do I deselect? I hit space. For those of you that are wondering. I don't know if that's the correct button, but no, 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 no. This is bloody. Fourth division's already pretty banged up. Can we move you guys forward into this position? And then have you guys push up like so. Push up, push up, and then need you all to push like so, need you all, no, nope. to push like so, and then you all, no, nope. uh, just you three, yeah, just you three. Uh, maybe, maybe just two. Complete the line. What is going on here? Holy crap.
All right, they've routed. Problem is, as the noose titans, the space available becomes smaller. So we we struggle. We struggle that way. Okay. Artillery. Move up. Quicksilver, you're desperately needed over here. Force. Yep, and end there. Jersey Blues, you're perfectly fine over there. Our second line over here. Those guys there move you up just a tad. McClellan up here. I don't know if the Silver Snipers have any targets over there. Sorry about the coughing. Do have a little, little bit of a cold. Okay, they're routing. I don't know if we'll hold though. Artillery's kind of shooting the wrong place. And Grant's not. His his aura is not with the Patriots. Okay, moving forces forward. Yeah, Patriots are struggling. They are really pushing over here for some reason. Oh no. This artillery is really causing problems. Holy crap. I said earlier I'm not worried about their artillery. I'm worried about their artillery. This is really problematic in there. I think what needs to happen over here is I think I need to make the line like this and then move move you two right there. You, you guys can stop fleeing now. Would be would be great. And then Put you guys back over here and just have you guys there, you guys there. Do something like that. Oh god, can we get rid of all of this artillery? Holy cow. Problem is, our guys, I feel like I've told them to engage and they just haven't. I don't know what you two are doing. Really need you guys to push in. Why are you turned weird? This is so bloody. really need you guys to push up and hit this artillery. This artillery has to be taken out. The okay, Greyhounds, you can retire over here. Boys in blue, get back into the fight. Okay, this looks better than it was previously over here. How are you guys already low on ammo? That is insane. Alright, I think we can take 
Dunker Church. Man, why do you have to go that? No, just. Oh god. Driving me nuts. Yeah, that, that makes so much more sense. You guys don't have to run as far. No, nope. keep running. Yeah, because you're rear-flanked by something. Like, the, the enemy will take advantage of any tiny slip-up you make. Just as you saw there, where my unit had its rear showing for for moments. And it was like, oh, hit them, hit them fast. Why are you still rear flanked? What are you rear flanked from? Really have to take out this artillery. I don't get why it's continuing to say rear flanked. There's nothing behind. We have to take out that artillery because it's causing major problems for us. Come on, Steel Legion. And then you guys here. No, why? No, no, no. Didn't realize I had him selected. Okay, that artillery's gone. Thank you so much. We must pass the bridge. Okay. <laughs> uh, we've passed one bridge. Okay, so that bridge. It seems the rebels have deployed their army to counter our frontal assault. We can now attempt to pass the stone bridge and flank them. You don't think anybody's back there? Maybe not. The city of Sharpsburg must be secured to claim victory today, General. Additionally, we cannot allow the rebels to gain Dunker Church area. Well, we've finally taken it, and their units looked really beat up, and we have a nice surround. Somebody left the line, though. Just noticed that. Or Sunken Road. Clearing the perimeter around the city will allow us to completely surround the rebel army and destroy it. I mean, that's what we are trying to do here? What are you guys doing? Okay. Let's push you all forward. Uh, Roughnecks, can you please get back in line? All right, what? Uh, I'm really scared to even attempt this. Yeah, we're we're being hit by artillery over there. Can one of you get up there? Oh no 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 no! Okay, so that's not happening. Just get the heck out of dodge. And we'll go the long way around. Okay, so what's going on over here? What on earth did I just push? What? Stop! No! What is going on here? Is there like a weird cavalry situation going on? Like in one of our old battles? Oh, uh, this cavalry's glitched. Look at where the guys are shooting.
Okay, Old Glory just retire a little. And do something like that. Brigadier General Guy McHenry wounded. These generals wounded is going to add up. Let's start with like forward. Forward only, not laterally. Okay, major artillery battery right there. Force, you need to run the line. Uh, third Corps, fourth division. Go up here. Uh, no. Let's go up there. Third division. I don't know where all third division is. Okay. Go up there. Okay, Old Glory. Come around this way. Fighting first, you're doing a great job. Look at all of that cannon fire, that is so crazy to see. Okay. Uh, I think we will do something so... We'll just, we'll start, I think we'll try to close this off. I think we can move our artillery forward now. Lieutenant Colonel Glenn Nagel killed, unfortunate. Let's put U3 at Dunker Church because it's an eyesight uh, observation point by the looks of it. This is causing their units to pull forward. Let's make sure we have our reserves available. These 10 pounders need to move up and then units up. Okay, take out this artillery. That needs to that needs to be a priority. And then just make sure that there's nothing over here. And then we could move our artillery up. What was that? Samuel Barnes. Move Grant up. Take out this artillery, please. This artillery needs to be together. McClellan, you need to be deep in the center. All of you over here. I do have a plan for them. Okay, that artillery's gone. Can we... Can we cross over? Make a, a spot over there. Lucky 7th, you need to retire. You've taken too much damage. Star Spangled, don't get too close. Okay. Uh, I feel like... feel like this needs to happen over here. I feel like you guys need to do something like that. Where's he going? He's not telling me. Move up. Move up. Move up. 
Liberty, plug that hole. Get the line looking a little bit better. We can take that hill. Have to be wary if there's anybody crossing over here. Lisa is like really tired or something. So you're moving slow. Okay, get this artillery up. Oh gosh. I swear I'm clicking the guy, then clicking control. But whatever. Okay, get this artillery up a little. You could probably help out. Looks like we are pushing them off of this position. We could push them even more. To that line there. Get them off the sunken hill. Okay. These skirmishers, I want you down over here. Need you to hit there. You to hit there. Old Glory. Probably a mistake on my part. Yeah, I don't like where Old Glory is. Okay, that artillery has routed. Move you guys back just a tad. Okay. Uh, third, fourth, fourth. There we go. So, who do we have here? Plug. Plug. And you all start hitting this tiny unit and finally take Sunken Road. Hey. Okay. We have some really good skirmishers over here. I should bring these skirmishers down too. We have two brigades securing that area. Looks like we have pushed them mostly off of Sunken Church. Or Sunken, <laughs> sunken Church. Sunken Road. Let's have more fresh units push forward. And where are you going? Over there. And then let's grab you guys and put you there, Lieutenant Ron Milroy. Okay, let's have this group back up. Pause, pause, pause. Man, they're, uh, they're really sneaky with that. They, as soon as you turn your back, it's like, huzzah! Okay. Move these guys over here. Alright, we can form an uber artillery battery up on the sunken road. This is going to fail. Yep, okay. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't even know why I tried. Alright. See if we can clear out a lot of these stragglers. I'm feeling pretty good about this, to be honest. Okay, lucky seven. You're really binged up. We'll put lucky seventh on sunken road. Let's have you guys form a... Hopefully I didn't grab anybody. Um, you guys probably need to retire. Is there anybody in town? Is there anybody behind town? Ooh, this was, a. Uh, that was rough. Lots of times we took a lot of casualties, but I think that's to be expected in this battle. Can you guys just hit that? I need their artillery gone. It doesn't look like there's a heck of a lot in town. Or behind town. We can probably do something like that. Uh, you guys are really tired. Let's just have you guys back over here. You guys can be a reserve over here. Lucky seven, you're just sort of a, a group at the time. McClellan, move up. And then let's get you guys more as reserves. Something like that. Somebody seriously charging. Oh, that's... That's tasty. So yeah, that, that brought in Munford by the looks of it. But... Ooh. There's some big brigades over there. Actually, I don't think Munford and Pryor are going to do anything about that. Okay. Now get back. Before the enemy does anything about it. We have a lot of skirmishers over here, so that'll be great. And then the silver sabers behind. Okay, how can we push even more? Silver Sabers. AP's Hill Force now for an hour extreme left. Really? I don't know about that. Run. So you don't take rear rear fire. Archer. Oh! 
Okay, well, that's not really threatening our extreme left, to be honest. Okay. That's... We need to continue pushing. So, move up. You guys can move up. No, what the heck was that? You guys can move over there. You would be good over here. Grant, move over here. Ransom. And then... All of these guys could honestly... Uh... I don't know what to do with you, to be honest. You guys could push up over here. And then I think we could push up a little further over here. We could cross the stream. It's technically not a stream, but you guys get what I mean. And then we can push you guys across. We can push you guys as reserves. You're a proper reserve. Force need you to do your thing. Do your thing. We have 57. I really need to watch this, but I think, uh, I don't know. I, I think we're good. We'll send one melee cav out and we'll leave these melee cav to interfere over here. And then silver snipers. So, as I said before, um, I am seem to be terrible with uh, with my skirmishers, so yeah, you can, you can see that there, that I really haven't done anything with them. Uh, they should just be... Uh, they should just be infantry brigades, but... I'm, I wanted to try it. I'm just... I'm too timid with them. Okay. I don't want them to drag... Too many of their units into the town. They have more artillery. Holy cow. Okay. Well. Wonder if we can do anything about that. Can we catch Munford? Just some pot shots, really, is all we got. There's some cow. Uh, there's some artillery somewhere. put you right there. Just realized that. Okay. Can you... Can you hit that while you guys push up there? You can push up there. Okay. So there's a big infantry brigade right there. Where are you going? I think you all can push up. 
think you guys could move over here probably. Can we can we hit this? Is that a single brigade? No. Uh, we could probably No 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 nope 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 nope. <laughs> Cease desist. Uh that's probably too many men for us to handle with cavalry. I am a little bit of a pansy. Not going to lie. Okay, 23 minutes. I think we can safely move into town. Push up. Push. I think we have dealt a massive blow. Oh, hold. Union secured Sharpsburg. Oh, first and only. Lucky lads. Okay, get out of there. Move these guys up. Artillery all needs to move up. Because you're out of range. You guys need to move up. I don't think Stone Ridge is an objective. No. It's a false objective. Take those artillery pieces out. Man, they have so much artillery. That's crazy. Yeah, so they just have they have a bunch of confused infantry around. So we did something like that. And you guys plugged the hole over there. We did something like this. You can finish the mission or continue your fight. Do I want to... We could. Is it worth it? I mean, I think we would deal a lot of damage to them. little unsure. Like, part of me wants to really cut into their their unit totals. Uh, three star. Okay, they've routed. Colonials are definitely taking a beating here.
I think the battle will end in 17 minutes, so we'll just... We'll let that end that way. I think the Colonials need to get out of there. They're in a... They're in a little bit of a weird... position. Okay, get that. No, not all American. You guys are so beat up, it's crazy. How do they still have artillery, is the real question. Can these 20 pounders hit that? That would be great. And then can our artillery move up into a better position in 17 minutes? Will this work? I don't know. No, 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 hold your fire, stupid. Looks like that shattered a unit. Okay, get out of there. No, 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 uh, are you still in hold fire? I don't think we'll keep those supplies, but... Ooh, that was nasty. Get out of there. Uh, maybe we will get away with those supplies. Oh, the battle's not ending. Okay. Well, can we kill this artillery, please? Is it... Booms another... Officer? Just, I, I think we are on a mission at this point to completely decimate the enemy. Ah, oh, it's empty? Boo. Oh well. The gold standard is running away. Where's... You guys need to go somewhere like that, you guys like that. 20 pounders could also go up. You could go there. Grant could go there. Where's Quicksilver? McClellan, go there. General Quicksilver, you are nowhere to be found. Okay, grab all of you schmucks and you'll just sit in town. Uh, you guys, and you, Mile High City, Gold Standard and Hellcats, Blue Devils, all of you, Force is empty. No, let's do something like that. Okay. Pretty sure there's a unit over here.
Wade Penrose killed. So there's there's Garnet right there. I think we could take Garnet with three units. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, because they're they're sort of fortified. I understand this might be a little boring for you guys, but this is something I want to do. Oh, they got three volleys off on our cavalry. But they should start disintegrating and they're routing perfect. And let's send our shooty cav that way. And Garnet should either surrender or shatter. They might shatter because our Cavs having a hard time keeping up with them. They got away. Oh yeah, because it was because of the river. Ugh. Man. Okay, now they're routing again. Our condition is pretty good. Uh, let's do... Let's do that. Garnet surrendered. Perfect. Great. Get you back across the river. Garnet can... Just do something like that. Oh, Wolverine. Oh, wow. Wolverines took a beating. Uh, I just want to cause a lot of casualties. I don't know how that affects the game in the end. But I just feel like we have the opportunity to completely crush their force. Why not? Why not try? I can hear myself being stuffed up. It's really, really awful to hear. I don't know if there's a unit on the bridge. Can we pincer in? Yeah, their Trimble's still on the bridge, so good to know there. More shattered units. Huzzah! Just completely obliterate them. Exactly what we want. No, that's not exactly what we want. They can shoot them, right? I think if we soften them up a little bit more, I might send the cavalry in. There's Tremble there. Okay, so who has a lot of men left? You do. Uh, 
Maybe, maybe not the best idea. Um, they're crossing, crossing the stream. Can can we Are they have artillery still? No. Great. You over here, you over here, you over here. I think I'm just about ready for a cap charge. We need to distract Branch. But... I think they can hit them. They can hit them. They can hit them. Now go in. Branch surrendered. Get Branch out of there. Union secured stone bridge. Supplies surrendered. Charge into there. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Lots of surrenders. Well, that worked out pretty well. To end the battle pretty quick. There's Munford, but whatever. I really want um, tombs and the supplies. And then once that happens, we'll call it because we're not catching Munford. He can he can run away to Richmond and tell of the insane defeat. Oh, I hope our medicine kicks in. Uh, some of our units were really badly mauled there. Where's our silver seekers? Oh no, they didn't get in on the action. Charge! And then you guys need to get the supplies. But not shoot the supplies. Ooh, that was bloody. There are... Some of our units took an absolute pounding. Lost, uh, two guns. It'll be crazy to see what some of the numbers are. I think at the very end, our cavalry did all right. Oh. Didn't let us capture them. So, 12,500 casualties for infantry, 357 cav, two guns, 66 men. Uh, we took out 31,974 infantry, 2,733 artillerymen, which is 107 guns, 1,104 cavalry, and captured 1,516. So, basically, three to one. I'm okay with that. I know you can do this battle probably a lot better, but I think that was pretty good. Dunker Church was definitely difficult. As far as kills go, uh, 
Yeah, so the 24 pounders as expected did the best. Wow, one of our parrots did really well. Actually, both of our parrots did really well. Freedom, all American, tons of casualties caused. Unfortunately, all American took. Uh, that was like a two to one, but that's more of a six to one, five to one. So not bad. Uh, as far as losses, so Devil Dogs took 833. Oh god. Greyhounds, 818. And then Boys in Blue, 690. Then a couple, uh, quite a few in the fives. So I don't think that was terrible losses on our part. Um, yeah, I think I think we did really well. So Rip, Glenn, Nagel, Nagel, Rip, Ron, Milroy, Wade, Penrose. He's been with us for a while. Evans wounded, Hanson wounded. Perry wounded, McHenry wounded, Barnes, Amon, but a bunch of Brigadier Generals. That's one, two, three, four, five, and the most important guy, General Quicksilver, promoted to a three-star Lieutenant General. Pretty amazing there. So as far as captured... Uh, wow, nearly 4,000 Harper's Ferry captured, bunch of supply, um, not much else though, holy, that's, uh, pretty terrible outside of that, but the Harper's Ferries, that's, that's really awesome, all of that. Uh, ooh, battle reward, so we got our two career points, plus 25 reputation, we, we received a three-star regiment. So 1,516 prisoners exchanged for 1,000 additional recruits. Pretty awesome. Uh, looking through it, so looks like our medicine kicked in a little, maybe? I'm not sure. That is... Uh, and a major general with them? And then, so, elite. Not really what I generally like to do, or firearms course. Discipline is what I like to do. Elite's fine. Um, firearms course, I would prefer that to be uh, the stamina one instead. But discipline training was good. Three star though. Look at those skills. Holy moly. And they come with Springfields already. That's a keeper for sure. That That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um... So we gained some two stars, one star, uh, some of our units badly beat up. They went to one star. I'm amazed our artillery didn't hit. Oh, nope. Uh, nope, none of it did. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's a two star, one star, one star. Oh, silver snipers did enough. How many people did they kill? 155 for one loss. Not too bad. So at the very end, I got them some experience. Uh, some of these units with a commander, they'll be two stars. Well, no, they already were a two star unit. Same with Roughnecks. Uh, not as many. Ooh. So they did well enough at the very end. So that's nice to see there. And then you guys. Oh, man. I bet if I gave them a colonel, they'll be one star, as opposed to a lieutenant colonel. I bet. Alright, I don't want to keep you guys for too long. Um, I do want to show you what is coming up. I won't read that. If you guys want to read it, you can pause the video and see for yourself. Uh, so the enemy's army is currently at 52 to 57k. We knocked it down a peg. Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg is the next battle. That was not a good battle for the Union Army. Let's just say that. So we have to have three. Oh, we could take 25 brigades per core. That's something I might might do. We will end this here. This is a monster episode. I really apologize for the length of the episode, but the Battle of Antietam is so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please 
like comment subscribe all of that youtube jazz i greatly appreciate all of you comments are pretty awesome to read the the civil war campaign is not getting as much love as some of the other stuff which i understand it's a it's an older game but this is a love of mine so i'm going to play a full campaign hope to see you guys on the next episode as always until next time